This intercession is taking place in the town of Dudley in England and it is remembering those students, former students of the Bible College of Wales, Swansea, not the current Bible College of Wales, Swansea, which is gone, gone out of the vision, out of the way of its founder, uh, Rhys Howells. But those who trained, like myself, under Samuel Rhys Howells, the son of Rhys Howells, now, before Rhys Howells died, the Lord himself had promised that there would be Joshua's to carry on not just the work, but for the gospel to go to every creature. And this intercession is done specifically here, because behind me, two of the former students, Trevor and Sharon Baker, are at work from Dudley reaching into places. But my concern is that are they actually continuing as they were trained at the Bible College of Wales in the days of Samuel Rees House. And similarly, only recently I have spoken with Samuel Adianju, who is very much keeping to the ways of his training. And also a few weeks ago, I actually met uh, Billy McClintock. And Billy, yes, he's very much too looking to keep in the ways and vision of what he was trained. But what has happened also to those who I've lost touch with, and those who have not gone on to be Joshua's, those who have not gone on in the ways of their training, my concern with Trevor and Sharon Baker is that they've been drawn into false fire, false ways, the ways of Patricia King, even possibly the ways of Todd Bentley, and rather than that of the vision of Rhys Howells and the full surrender message which was so prominent in the Bible College of Wales at the time of their training. I did make that full surrender, but where are those two who made the full surrender? Are they actually going on as they should be going on? Or have they been drawn into false ways, the ways of the false Jesus? And this intercession is very much to call back into the ways which were tra the ways of the Bible College of Wales, which were those of full surrender and to go all the way with God, no matter what the cost was. So the scriptures, St. John's Gospel, chapter 3 and the third verse. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So that is the first step being born again, otherwise cannot see the kingdom of God. Then, Romans chapter 12 and verses 1 and 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And even still on those lines, that of Galatians 2, and the, and the 20th verse. I get there. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh. 
I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And finally, Colossians chapter 3, and beginning at the first verse. If ye be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on the things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. O oh God, Father, these verses, for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. That is what thy servant Rhys Howells, he knew and he lived it. He was crucified with Christ. He lived as a dead man with no right to himself. And I'm calling upon thee now for all those of former students of the Bible College of Wales, including Trevor and Sharon Baker, that should they have gone into other ways, ways of false fire, ways which are not of the Holy Ghost, ways that are not of the person of the Holy Ghost, that every one of them, that you will speak to their hearts and show them that it is the person of the, the Holy Ghost living his life in and through the surrendered person. I am willing to be made willing with what I said all oh, those years ago. And the person of the Holy Ghost came in and I went out. And what happened to the others? Did they never make that commitment? Did they never make that surrender? Did the Holy Ghost, the person of the Holy Ghost, never come in? Because should he have come in, then they would have gone out. And they would never have gone into false fire or false ways. Because the ways of Patricia King, the ways of Todd Bentley, and the ways of Lucifer, they're the ways of the false Jesus. And I utterly now and completely expose the ways of Lucifer. These ways that are going, have gone and are going, still going into, into other countries, other countries in Asia and Africa, deceiving, deceiving, instead of bringing to re, into that living relationship with the living God, instead of that discipleship, and the discipleship, what does it do? And what should it do? Set your hearts upon the things of God. Set your hearts upon the things of above, not the things of this world, not the physical things of this world, physical fire. No, but the signs of wonders which will follow the healings and the miracles, not false he miracles but that which will bring glory to the Father through the Son. And I call upon thee, yes, for souls to hear the gospel in countries like India and Pakistan, to be bring, brought to repentance and to faith, to be washed and cleansed through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, but also to be brought into true discipleship, not that which seeks the things of the physical, but the things of God which are set above. The things of the kingdom of God. The things which are of the word of God. And the teaching of the word of God. Bring, O oh God, in this country too, and in other countries, a return to thy word, a hunger and a thirst for thy word, and to seek the things of thyself instead of the things of the flesh. I utterly and completely now bring down thy fire, thy true fire, to burn out the things of the flesh and to call back unto thyself Joshua's, bringing the Joshua's that were promised to Reese Howells just before he died. They've got to be 
brought into into being now. They've got to come. Where are they? And I call them call upon thyself, O God, that you by revelation will speak to hearts, to those of past former students who are out of their callings. So be to come into the callings of thyself. And for those who may not have trained at the Bible College of Wales, but can still be Joshua's, that you will call them and that you will see through that vision which you gave to Reese Howells, the vision of the gospel going to every creature. And this is asked through his name, through the name of Jesus, that he will be preeminent in all things, that he will be given his rightful place, not to ministries which have or of Patricia King and of Todd Bentley. They have no right because they will not give the Lord Jesus Christ his preeminence. He is exalted at thy right hand, having all authority in heaven and earth, may having made an open show of the principalities and powers of darkness. And I may now throw that authority, that authority in him, that identical faith of him, I utterly and completely destroy the works of the devil which have come against the fulfilling of the Joshua's for, for the vision given to Reese Howells and that they're now set free, they're now coming in because the fields are white unto the harvest and that through the continuing ministry, through thy, thy servant who is speaking and those who are with him in Bible College of Wales, that the Joshua's now will come and the resources will be are set free from these false ministries of false fire and will come into line for that which you said to Reese Howells. For it is that the, that the Lord Jesus Christ and he alone shall be glorified because Jesus said, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done uh, unto, unto you. Until you now, Father, be glorified through thy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, the power of his blood, the power of his resurrection, the power of his ascension, and the power of his glorification. Amen.